All right, coming up on a quarter till right now with that cold air. We got snow on the way. A good soup or some good chili is the perfect way to warm yourself up this weekend. Let's get back to our great friend Leanne and her kitchen there up in Amish country. How you doing again, love? I'm doing great. OK, listen, <laughs> there's just nothing better than just a thick, hot, mm. hearty soup. Sign and me up for all that. You know, a lot of people have their own versions of this white chicken chili. I I have probably three different recipes. I love this. I love this soup. So I've already started by, I, I have some of Walnut Creek cheese with garlic olive oil, garlic infused olive oil. Yum. And a beautiful, beautiful sweet onion. And then I've got, you can either use garlic powder, but I love to use a magic garlic dust or garlic powder. I've already got that in my skillet. And now I'm adding two pounds, Steph, two pounds of shredded chicken. That's a lot. Now, that's a lot. But we want it real thick and beautiful with meat. This now, is going to stick to your I, bones. You want something really hearty, right? Yes. Okay, so I do a little hack, and this is nothing new, especially to people who are familiar with the kitchen. But I went and got two rotisserie chickens. They're nice. beautiful. You just can easily debone them. Keep all Shred that beautiful, up. keep all that beautiful dripping and juice in the bottom of those rotisserie containers. You want that. So I saved that, and I, now I've got that all in my pot. Okay, now we're going to add some beautiful uh, chicken. You can either use chicken stock or you can use chicken broth. I chose chicken stock because I just want a really rich, hearty soup. I feel like now, stock's a little the, heartier, right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, like a stock, it's just, it feels heartier, thicker, nicer. I just like it. Okay, there are four cans of Great Northern Beans in this soup. Now, some soups, you know, a roux. Some some soups call for like a roux, like a thickening of flour or cornstarch, tomato paste, something to kind of thicken your soup. Here's what I've chose to do, Steph. You're going to love this. This is three cans of beans right here. That's it. Three cans of beans, three of my four. Then I've taken the fourth can of beans, rinsed them, drained them, and put them in my little food processor. And now I'm just going to... I'm going to go to town and I'm going to whip these up and they're going to act as a thickening. Sure. And yeah, instead of like, you know, instead of cornstarch or flour, we're going to use the beans. A quick zap. I'm going to add, they don't yep, want to zap. I'm gonna add, yeah, I'm got Well, it's sapping, but I rinsed and drained my green <laughs> beans a little too good. So I'm going to add a little bit of the milk so I can whip these up. Just to cream them up just a little add, bit, right? Yeah, cream them up, cream it up. You can use you can pour a little bit of milk in there just to get some more moisture so you can get it whipped. Yeah. But this acts like a absolute beautiful thickening. Okay, so we've got, oh, this is looking so good. This I bet. Bright. It probably smells okay, so no, good like, in your kitchen right now. Oh, oh, I wish you could come over, Steph. I would love that. If, if you live closer, you could just bop over right after the station. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a, we've got a little bit of oregano. We've got some kosher salt. I like a nice meaty salt. And then we've got some cumin. That's what's going to make this a little different. A teaspoon of cumin. We've got some black pepper. And we've got, I like a little heat, Steph. We've got a little bit of cayenne. Oh, um, yeah. Then, then we've got a can of green chili. So those are going in. Um, there's a lot of ingredients in this soup, but it's okay. It's good. Now, on the recipe, the recipe I gave Celia to post online, I have done this. I have said you can use a half a cup of whole milk or you can use a whole cup. It depends on how brothy you want your soup. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to start with about a half a cup. And then as I go along, I'm going to decide if I want more. That's the beauty in cooking. It's a little bit like art. You can just kind of say, oh, I want to half a cup. This is a half a cup of sour cream. I'm going to start with a half a cup. I might not want the full cup. I like to cheat a little or snitch. We call it snitching in my house. So <laughs> I will be tasting. I will be tasting this to see like, oh, do I want more broth? I'm already got, I'm already, I can already tell Steph. 
I want all this milk. So and I'm you want whole milk because it's got the fat in it, right? You want to have that extra yes. fat in there, sure. Yes. Now, you can, listen, if you're like, hey, we like whole cream. We like heavy whipping cream in our house. Oh, yeah. Amish country is known. Amish country is known for its dairy. You you can put whole, whole beautiful heavy whipping cream in this. I, I also have the, the great northern beans I have are... Our, our own here in Amish country, they are, they are water free cheese nice. for the beans and they are absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my, my creamy, see how creamy that, that is? Yeah. My creamy beans. And this is going to act as the thickening. Now, if you want to see me do more of this, if you want to see the final product in a bowl, you can find my Instagram. It's Lee Ann Miller, and that's L E E A N N Miller. Miller is a common, common, common Amish name. I, I tell people I'm just another Miller. I'm just another <laughs> Miller here in Amish country. Um, you can find me at Lee Ann Miller at Instagram, and I will show you a completed, beautiful bowl of this. But look, Steph, this is a big, big kettle of soup i love so, it. it looks like you could eat that with some tortillas or something almost like a tortilla oh, soup oh. i, I See? have i love it with with the scoops the frito scoops oh yeah daryl and i crush it on the top and it's delicious we're gonna put a little bit oh wait i forgot i forgot this the we've cheese. got three cups no this is three cups of frozen corn oh, i like corn stuff and then we've got some cheese we've got about a half a cup just i it's just a handful, but it's about a half a cup of cheese. And then we're just going to let this, we're just going to let this simmer. We're not going to bring this to a rolling boil. A rolling boil, let me tell you what a rolling boil is by definition. A rolling boil is a boil that you can't stir down. So we do not want this to rolling boil. We just want this to it's simmer nice, for a good, like, yes, 15, 20 Leanne, minutes. I think we got to go, but uh, I know we can yeah. continue following you on Instagram, right? Yes. Yes. Follow me and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Delicious as always.